Welcome to this course, The Museum of Self, Keeping a Visual Diary. It's a practice that I have both maintained myself and used as a teaching tool for others to really encourage keeping a regular practice. It may be that you keep sketchbooks like this. We're going to work today on concertina sketchbooks and here some I've done earlier. It may also be that you in the long run prefer to work on loose sheets of paper, spiral bound, other forms of sketchbooks. But the idea being that um, by working on paper, working with mixed media, with things to hand, we can really kind of let go of expectations. It's not the big stuff, it's, it's the everyday and it's, it's um, fun, it's playful, it generates ideas. It's a really exciting way to work. So I've just spread out a few of, of my own um, sketchbooks from the past. And as I say, I work regularly using sketchbooks to kickstart a new subject, to record my daily life, to... Um, it's a diary, really, as a visual diary. So that's the aim of this course, is a visual diary. I've called it the Museum of Self because, as we are currently, depending on when you are watching this recording, but currently, as I make this, we are in another state of lockdown where most of us are confined to our home um, most of the day. And as artists, sometimes this searching for something exotic, the 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 inspiration is always out of reach. And in fact, if we really just concentrate to what we already have, be it in our studio, be it in our home, be it in our life in some way, it's so rewarding and rich. So here we are in our home. I am using the kitchen end of the studio where I work to give it that domestic feel with sinks and kettles behind me. We're, if you are in your home, it's the ideal place. Kitchen table might be the ideal place to start. The aim of this course is to be experimental, to play with materials and processes, to look at the everyday, to celebrate the mundane, to celebrate the home, to celebrate what we love, the familiar spaces, to explore, to find afresh. And it really won't need a lot of materials. So I will introduce materials. I'll talk about perhaps a, an ideal kit. And it should be portable, because that's the other idea about these. If you've not come across these concertina sketchbooks before, they are this big. And I'd like the selection of materials that I use to also be something that could fit into a pencil case or a little art box so that you can travel around your house or in future to other places or around your garden when the weather gets warmer. But that's the idea that it is a portable kit. It's, it's got to be removing all the obstacles that sometimes put us off. I haven't got a studio. I haven't got enough paint. I haven't got this. I haven't got that. You could do this in pencil and a rubber, you know, pencil and nothing else. So I brought in a few of my previous sketchbooks as examples. Um, they range from ones where I have used a lot of ink throughout as a unifying mark and almost just let the imagination fly a little bit with these ones. Nice and expressive, doodling, finding things in the ink imagery. Another one I've used with ink was more specific to a project, an interior, one of the residencies I was doing at Strawberry Hill House. So working back into it. The idea of these concertina sketchbooks is that they are not chronological. And that is something, again, I find incredibly liberating for my sketchbook use no longer having that awful anxiety of the first page. Um, how can I start the first page and will I ever finish this book and having incomplete sketchbooks. Instead, we'll be working along the whole strip of the sketchbook throughout this course. Some earlier examples without the ink and much sparser, a lot more writing in some of these. A little bit of collage, mark making. They 
They are places that can be far more personal, I think, the sketchbook. You're less likely to... People are less likely to see it. You might not be exhibiting it. You might keep it very private. So there are all sorts of things you can stick in and write. And I find them really interesting to come back to because they, they're not on my wall. I don't see them every day. So it's like finding a photo album or a personal diary and looking back into them. So I'll be talking about, I'll be demonstrating a lot of the processes that you'll see in here and talking about materials and giving you exercises, ideas, starting points and triggers for the rest of the course.